Moto enables you to apply procedural mesh operators to mesh fusion items, giving you amazing control over non-destructive modeling. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate the process I use when combining these two powerful modeling features. I'll start by selecting these two mesh items and creating a new fusion item. To demonstrate an extremely cool feature of mesh fusion, I'll select the cutter mesh item, hold down the Alt key and change its mesh role to a surface strip using the surface strip with grid topology button. This creates geometry around the intersecting edges of the two meshes. Clicking update strips will give me the ability to select the strip and edit its attributes. Change its mesh mode to airtight final with parts so we can access the strips later. Next, I'll create a new mesh item, give it a name, then add a merge meshes operator and add the fusion item to it. I can now hide the other meshes and just focus on the procedural mesh. Let's add some detail to the mesh. Start by adding a polygon bevel operator and then add a select by polygon tag operator to it. Choose the fusion strips for the value and then select the polygon bevel operator again to access its attributes. Adjust the values to your liking. Everything is still live, so you can always go back and edit the original meshes to create an endless amount of variations. While this is a simple example, it should give you some insight into just how powerful mesh fusion can be when combined with procedural modeling. Be sure to experiment with this workflow to see how it might be a perfect solution for your future projects.